Super Mario Brothers for the NES. This is the game that started it all, Nintendo's Dynasty back in the NES SNES days. However, is it still fun today? Let's find out. In case for some wild reason you've never played the game before, it's a 2D platformer in which you play as Mario, out to rescue the princess from Bowser. You play through 8 worlds, all consisting of 3 levels in a boss fight. These levels consist of the standard daylight hills, the underground pipe caves, the swimming levels, the treetops, the night, and boss battles with Bowser. There are a few other types, but they aren't really featured as much. Your goal is to reach the end flag while collecting as many points as possible by killing enemies like Goombas and Koopa Troopas and collecting coins. The levels are classic and very fun, even now. They have great designs and are very colorful. The whole game looked good for the time, and it looks fine now. Probably it be 2D instead of 3D like something like Mario Kart 64, which looks awful now. One of the best features of the game is its secrets. There are tons of different things to find, and this can lead to different playthroughs of the game. Thanks to warp zones, you can go through as fast as possible, or you could do every world at once. You can also pick and choose what levels you want and worlds you want to do, so you can lead to different playthroughs every time. One of the game's few flaws, however, is its challenge. The game itself is fairly handleable, but with no continues and a dearth of one-ups, it makes it incredibly easy to be forced back to level 1, and this may deter some people. But, it could also lead to taking different playthroughs. Overall, Super Mario Bros. is an experience not to be missed, simply because it was so important in gaming history, but also because it is very fun, has great levels, and a lot of replayability. Download it or buy it now.